Hello friends and welcome to my pathetic January haul! I have a FCC order and some fantasy wax here. That's literally it for this first portion. For SBC, she threw in, oh, let us zoom on in, zoom in. There we go. These are like the little stickers she makes for us. So that's perfect, love. There's this cutie journaling card. Now I'm zoomed in too much. She can't win. So cute. We have got some little free brews in here. There is these quotes. Oh my god, don't do this shit to me. And there she goes. Okay, this planner friends make the best friends and SPC planner party in both rose and in silver. Then we've got the little once more love munchkin doodads. We've got the kirsten -y looking ones. We've got some angels. Some ones that look like Jessica. And the Andrea ones. How cutie. Love. We have got Z color of the week, which was like this peachy color. And I obviously get all of the pages. Let me just fan them out. That's way easier. Way easier. This is color number 56. It's actually really pretty. This is going to be so useful in so many spreads. Oh my god, there's so many. There we go. I got all the colors. And I did pick up the share kit, so I got the doodles for that as well. Then we have got the share kit. I've actually never seen Clueless, but me and Andrea, like, once a week we have a girls' night where we watch a movie, hang out, whatever. And I just have a feeling she'll pick this movie at some time, at some point, because it's um unacceptable that I have not seen it so oh my god this focusing nonsense is really pissing me off today here we go I don't know any of the characters besides that that's Cher so there's that I love the colors of this kit they're very fun unique bright I'll probably use Gold Hollow with this kit, if I'm being honest with ya. And then this was the kit freebie, and then I got the, like, I love this idea. To, like, just put this in, like, if you have nothing else to put in, just, like, a little extra box. So, we have that. So cute. So fun. Love. And then we just got, like, a shit ton of foil. Here, hold up. I swear, sometimes she gets her act together if I just like turn her off and turn her back on. So, we have got this like, I'm not gonna open it, but this is like a hot pink foil bundle, as well as a sparkly red. Oh, I love, love, love. And then we have a bunch of these that I'll probably use for layering. We have got two gold hearts, and I do have an SP, I'm gonna like an SPC affiliate. You can use Hannah 10 to save 10% off. We've also got them in silver, rose, hollow, oh my god, hollow just looks so good always, sparkly hollow, black, which is like my favorite to use, like SPC layered with mine, champagne lights, and lavender, oh nope, lavender hollow, and Matte bronze, there's so many. The hot pink. And the sparkly red. And then I'm not gonna go through all the colors again, but we have all of those colors for this next pattern as well. I'm just trying to find the hollow because I feel like that looks the most fun under the on the camera. We got two sheets of all of the Valentine's Day ones as well and this is what they look like kind of reminds me of a quilt super cute so much foil I have so much so many things i'm gonna need to put away i do have like a basket here of like 
like things I need to put away. So that's all going in there. And that is my order from SPC. That's the whole thing, nothing crazy. And then I have two orders here, I believe, from Fantasy Wax. Um, one is from my collab, which I did just buy like a couple more bundles because I needed it for the men's. But yeah. I already went over these in my last haul and I have a whole dedicated video on them and they're not currently available anymore. So I'm not gonna go into detail, but just know that it was fantastic and amazing and wonderful. And a couple of samples and then I did pick up five more of Kirsten's fave because Andrea told me I had to have more. She was like, whatever you ordered, not enough, get more. So I got more. And this is in um, blackberry jam butter cookie, pumpkin pecan waffle and pretzel, which is a fire combo. And it's so good on cold. I'm sure this is going to be amazing on warm. To my two samples, which will go to my sister. We have apple cinnamon strudel, which is the best apple scent there could be. I don't really like apple, but that is good. And wild berry mousse, which I don't really like wild berry mousse. Yeah, no, Ugh, not for me. But that's it for this portion of the haul. Y'all. Oh my god. Zoom in, not out. Getting dong. So I have a giant bag here of fantasy wax. And I have filmed, I think, maybe one or two. I think one haul clip, but it's in two parts because my camera died. But I haven't filmed a haul clip in weeks and weeks and weeks. Probably like since the first week of January, and it is now the 27th. So I have approximately this much stuff from SPC to haul. It's just a time. Let us start with Fantasy Wax. I will preface this with I am a bit stuffed up simply because it's so dry in here. From having to turn the heat on last night. But there are a couple of things in here from their Valentine's release that... Andrea so kindly passed over to me because they were just not her cup of tea. And works for me because they are both my cup of tea. And this one is Ariel and Eric, which they're my favorite Disney couple. Elsa's my favorite character, but like, she's a strong independent woman. So for couples, Ariel and Eric is where it's at. And this is Serendipity, which is like a delicious, yummy, coconut, fruity, yum. Just, oh, so good. This would be great for the summertime. And then Kitty and Red, I honestly have no idea who they are. Should I look it up? Let's see how stupid I am. Should I know what this is? If it's from something children related, like a kid's show, probably not. But, oh, that 70s show. Yeah, I never watched that. So, this is Strawberry Cheesecake. She doesn't really like cheesecake scents, but I do. And this is, oh, this is so good. Mmm, that's heavenly. I probably already mentioned this, but I do have a code of Fantasy Wax. Use Hannah 10 to save 10%. Um, let me assess the situation because I have doubles of things. Because, okay, these are different. They're similar, but different. Okay, I'm just going to put it all here and then I will go through it. This is from the Order of the Phoenix collection, which I went really hard on. Order of the Phoenix is, hands down, in my opinion, the worst of all of the movies, but the best of all of the books. And that's just a hill I will forever die on. Because how do you take the longest book and make it the shortest movie? It's just kind of rude. Honestly. There are so many things that aren't even in screen because this collection was so flippity dippity docking big. We do have a couple samples. We will start with them. I do give the samples to my sister, but she is actually like running out of wax. So I have a huge box I'm about to send her and a box I'm sending my dad because I got him into wax. We have apple pecan pancakes. This is actually so good. I hate apple. Mm, I love that. And then pink frosted cake. This little heart embed is giving me life. Yep, smells like a pink cake. Yummy, yummy. Like a little bit of strawberry. 
Maybe that's like in my head because when I think of a pink frosted cake, I think it's strawberry. But who knows? We'll go through everything. I only got one of because there's a couple things I got too. First, we have Miss Luna Love Good, and this is blueberry, Fruit Loops, and Sugar Milk. I don't love cereal scents, but Chris does, and I never buy them. And he's been like wanting some fruity scents, so I'm gonna definitely be um using this primarily in his office but it is a really really i usually also don't love blue blueberry but it's mainly fruit loops and sugar milk to me which i love we have one festral which is palo santo sugar cookie royale and toasted mallow their palo santo is the coloni type not the woodsy type so i do like it this is like a sweet sensual um cologne scent really like that it'll be great for the bathroom we have he's back which is apple cinnamon strudel and zucchini bread i literally got this because andrea won't shut the fuck up about it honestly and i see why it is a really good apple this will be great for the fall time the zucchini bread is like a nice bready note so it's not so sickening sickeningly apple love two of those two of those two of those two of those miss bellatrix Blackberry jam butter cookies and vanilla pound cake. I can never decide how I feel about blackberry jam butter cookies. I like like it and hate it at the same time. I love these tarts though. Yes, this is good. I think the vanilla pound cake tames the blackberryness of it. It's blackberry jam butter cookies is just usually very fruity. And vanilla pound cake doesn't usually do much, but in this it really does. It really like calms it down. I'm actually smelling quite a bit of the vanilla cake, which is a happy surprise. Got one of these cute little wavy bar things. I don't really know what she's calling these. But this is Department of Mysteries. And this is Spearmint and Vanilla Bean Noel. We are a mint loving fam. Spearmint is my gum of choice. If I'm chewing gum, like spearmint all the way. And so this literally smells like spearmint gum to me. We have the Room of Requirement. I'm also wary on Wildberry Mousse. So I only got one of these, but it is Buttercream, Wildberry Mousse, and Zucchini Bread. I love these little mini chunk bags. They're just perf. And this one's probably my least favorite. I just really don't think I like Wildberry Mousse, but like, it's very strong. No fault to them. But like, why would I pick up a scent I'm not obsessed with? So there's that. And then everything I was so confident in, I just purchased two of. Starting with Creature. We got two of them. Creature is an asshole, but we got two of him. And this one is French Baguette and Brown Sugar. I should have got 12. It is so good. I love their French Baguette. I just melted it plain. It was in their Goblet of Fire collection, I believe. It was Hogsmeade. Oh, and with that brown sugar, oh my god. Like, this is making my eyes roll into the back of my head. It is so good. We got two clams, which clams and shot cups are my least favorite form of wax, but like this scent, I had to do it. This is hot orange Danish in tea and cakes, and it's just called the Order of the Phoenix. It has the cute little phoenix on it. It's yellow. And yeah, it's so good. Sorry about that. It's very tea and cakes. With the extra, there's already kind of some citrus in tea and cakes, so it just really amplifies it. Obsessed. We got this bitch, the one who's worse than Voldy himself, and that's Dolores Umbridge. And it's strawberry white cake zucchini bread, and it saddens me that it's such an evil, evil lady with such an amazing scent because she deserves to smell like poop. But I get it because she's the pink gal, and this is phenomenal. It's very close to um, Hannah's baby, if not exactly. And it's just everything you guys know. I'm a hoe for strawberry white cake and zucchini bread mixed and this, she's the one. She's she a good girl? We have two Dumbledore's Army, which is banana crepes. Why did I say it like that? Banana crepes and French toast. Very like syrupy banana scent. I get maple and I get banana and it's really good and I'm sure it'll be fantastic on warm. You can't judge banana on cold ever. This is 12 Grimald Place, which is blue sugar, warm vanilla sugar, and zucchini bread. I'm learning that I'm a big fan of blue sugar, actually, for, like, the bathroom. It's very cologne -y. 
So you get the blue sugar, but then you get the bready note and the vanilla. It's just, it's so good. A lot of these masculine scents I'm loving mixed with bakery, which is so odd, but it's good. It's good shit. We love her. And then two of I Must Not Tell Lies. And this is Amaretto, Coffee Bean, and Pizzell. It's so good. It's so unique. One time I did a custom with Kay's that had almond and coffee, and it was so weird, but so good. And this is the same thing. It is so bizarre. You would never think to put it in. I'm not really sure what the Pizzell is doing, rather than making it just a little sweeter. But you get the Amaretto. You get the coffee. But neither one overpowers the other, and it is so good. So that's my Mountain of Fantasy Wax. And now let's move into my Mountain of SPC. I have no idea what's oldest and what's newest. I'm going to go with the things that are not in a cello and say that they're probably the oldest. Go with the things on top. We have a cute little J. Crew freebie, actually. I have not gotten a purple one. All of the ones I've gotten of hers have all been blue. Ooh, this is so cute. 75 plus freebie. I love this ombre from, like, the green to the yellow. This would be great with spring kits. Um, these things, at the time of filming this, have not come out, but the new release video will be up for them, and they will, I think, be coming out tomorrow, this week, but we have got the scribbler with the board game. It's so cute. It's got, like, a little pawn and a die, and she just looks real determined, and so Andrea just gave me a couple of sheets of her because... She knew I needed it for our board game adventures, and this was a request by me, was the fast food bags, but, like, have them be, like, in her multicolor, because, like, I can't be having orange Whataburger in my black and white spread. I can't be having purple Taco Bell in my blue and pink spread. You guys know the deal. So, she served it up. We've got she gave me the ones I would use. I think there's also Chipotle, but I absolutely think Chipotle is disgusting. So we have Whataburger, Sonic, Arby's, and Taco Bell. I believe she already has McDonald's in multicolor. And yeah. Some date dots, which I actually am so excited about because I'm always, if I'm not using a bundle, I'm always like, like, oh my god, where, where are Z-date dots? So we've got like this one font, we've got white, which is so fun, black, gold, silver, hollow, and sparkly hollow. These are so useful. Love me some date dots, and I probably already mentioned it, but I do have a code with SPC. You can use Hannah 10, save 10% off. And then we have the other font in all of the like main colors. This one's got rose instead of sparkly hollow. So cute. Um, these go with kits. The add-ons. We got the Wednesday doodles. We've got the under the sea doodles. We've got the at the zoo doodles. We have got the traveling gal. It's travel scribbler. So cute. Obviously, come on. I had to have these. The little frozen dolls. Like, ah! We got Kristoff. We got the all versions of Anna and Elsa. And then here we have like the castle, Kristoff's carrot, little baby marshmallow, all the things. So cutie cutie. And then this color of the week, which this color is stunning. I love her. I cannot believe that this is color 57. Girl has been doing these colors for over a year and they are just grand. But this was the color. It's looking very royal blue on the screen, but it's a bit more purple in person. Very excited about that. And then I do have three, two, yeah, three kits here and some foil. We've got the At The Zoo kit and I do have a bunch of animal print underlays in shop. We have one called Jungle, which is, I believe, what I'm probably going to use with this kit. But I will also absolutely be using this, like, aquarium scene because I love aquariums. Sharks are my favorite animal. If you weren't aware, I literally have shark jaws tattooed on my leg because I'm just obsessed. But I love the idea of this. we got the zebras. We've got the snakes. We've got the lion, elephant, bears, gorilla. I also have, um, I'm obsessed with the game Planet Zoo. I have, well, Zoo Tycoon 2. 
with the endangered species pack was obviously the best zoo game but I do frequently not frequently because I don't have time for it but I do have planet zoo on my pc and it's so fun the pretzels had me sold love I love these colors got the giraffes and the alligator this is a kit where I'm gonna have to use extenders in the sidebar because I need to use everything and um this week I had new releases and they're on sale and I do have a couple of zoo overlays with different animals. Flamingos, I can do without. I hate birds so much, but in love with this kit. And I did get the add-on because I wanted the blondie girl and I think she's quite cute. Okay, then we got the Wednesday kit, which I have not yet watched this show again. I just genuinely have not done anything besides work, basically. And the days that I take off is because I'm going to do something. So I've not had time to watch TV. And it saddens me. But it's just the reality. But I want to watch this show. Jenna Ortega is literally stunning. And I do have two different sheets of Wednesday overlays you can order. And I saw somebody get the hands underlays. They got both Wednesday overlays in black. And then my underlay is called hands. And I think they're using them with this kit. And I literally love that idea. I think it would look really, really nice. But, yeah, full boxes. I love that there's, like, the little extra half-seen boxes. I'm obsessed with that idea, like she did with um, the Clueless kit. I'm definitely going to be leaning towards the black rather than the navy because black's my favorite color. Then we have the dance scene. And we have the tall box of um, Wednesday. And then I did get the add-on. I don't really know who these characters are. I just know that this is the girl that plays Brienne of Tarth from Game of Thrones. And I saw something that said that this was the only show she's ever been in that she's actually felt beautiful. And that, like, made my heart want to, like, cry, essentially. So, had to have her. Then we have the Under the Sea kit. When does this movie come out? I feel like they've been talking about this movie for so long. The live action Little Mermaid and I straight can't wait. We do have the tall box of Miss Ariel. And then we have the boxes. I just love both of these scenes so much. Oh, so cute. I do have Little Mermaid underlays, overlays, and washi, as well as bubble washi. All the Little Mermaid things are available in shop. And her little tail, so cute. That'd be so cute. On the quote sheet there it says like, um, but daddy I love him. And I think that'd be so cute on this. Love. Love, 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 love. We've got some foil here. We've got two foil bundles. We've got one in this stunning sparkly pink. And then this one's in a pink hollow, which I love. I'm not going to open them because I like to keep them contained and I'm terrible at getting things back in their cello and then we just have some cutie little heart underlays in a regular pink the sparkly pink and the pink hollow love them then you guys y'all have been going nutso for this February mystery and I can't say I blame you because I'm also quite obsessed it's reading themed which I feel like has been such a vibe and let me show you here she is. I just, I can't. Cat box, hate it. I will definitely be replacing it. But everything else, obsessed. Obsessed, obsessed. Just obsessed. These colors, I love this mustard. Yeah, love this scene. Love Christina Lauren, honestly. She's a vibe. Um, this comes with matte bronze, which highly support that being a color choice. But you could also bring in pink if you wanted more pink. Or more pearl from my shop if you want to bring in more of like the, that tone rather than the brownie tone. Here is the extra color, the doodles. Oh my god, the tall box. I'm obsessed. This box, I'm obsessed. I'm perfectly not gonna have to use the cat. Um, here are the other girls. I will the blonde one's already in the kit, and I'll just probably use her because I don't care that much. So this is something new that Andrea is doing in like some kits, I think. And it's like a themed add-on. So there's just one more chapter box. And then there's like the book washi, some book deco. And um, some little reading, can't stop buying books 
themed scripts, which I think is so cute and fun. And then here's the foil bundle. Got two sheets of that, two sheets of underlays, of course. We have got the scripts in the icons and then the bottom washi. I will obviously switch out the bows for the books because come on now. Come on now. It's perfect. Love her. Um, this is just the I don't know if this has come out yet. So I'm actually not gonna show it because I really am unsure. 27. I think it has to have come out. Where did I put those other gals? Let me see what number they are. The um, girls with the board games are 28. So yeah, these have to have come out. And it's just gals playing cards. Love. This was my fat doodle order and I actually kind of lost this order. It was like on the top shelf of my closet and I didn't realize it was there. And then I was like, oh my God, I forgot about you. But we found her. So she did give me a couple sheets of the me with my eyes rolled. And the only difference is that I have brown eyes and the blonde girl in the kit or in the, her character has blue eyes. So she gave me a colorful and a white shirt of the brown eyed rolling eyes. Bad attitude gal. And this is literally just all doodles. This was the 75 plus freebie. It's in this brown color. And she had to We got popcorn, ramen, breakfast, Burger King, Chick-fil-A, McDonald's, colorful McDonald's, Target, Two sheets of the printers because these are like such a good size. Love. Little like icy milkshake. More Asian food. More Asian food. Mail. Silhouettes. The orange Whataburger. Dice. Pawns. These red phones. Mario. Switches. Arby's. Both versions of the laptop, the DSLR camera in colorful and neutral, more breakfast. This is for like preparing food. She has train stickers. I didn't realize she does. Whenever I go into the city of Austin, I always take the train. So that was perfect. These to mark like things with my mom, about my mom, and then the fork, knife, and plate. Lots of doodles. Love that. And then this is my most recent order and I'm going to show you guys. Andrea is just like a sweetie pie honey bunch and she knows that I'm using the Barbie kit for my mom's birthday. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. And um, this, I didn't, I had the newer formatted um, Barbie kit that didn't have the girl and she's like, oh my god, I think the girl looks just like your mom. Like I'll print you one of those boxes. But she also added this little cake that says mom on it and I literally almost cried and she made the name of the sheet Peggy which is my mom's name and ah, my heart I could literally sob thinking about it then she also threw these in here we have got some cutie little couples that look like me and Chris and then a couple more sheets of the like me and Andrea stickers because we needed more colors we have like a neutral sheet and then a colorful sheet Um, okay, I think this is my like, little extra, like, the little sheets that I bought. I bought all of the a little bougies, hollow silver golds, because I just had to have them, basically. I picked up the Sonic bags because I'm into Sonic now. You know me, once I get into something, it becomes my whole personality. <laughs> we have got the Fairy Grove doodles, as well as the Dark Arts doodles. We've got this same 75 plus freebie and we got Shrek. Why? Don't know. I just had to have it. The vlogging girls. No idea what I'll use that for, but I had to have it. This color of the week is so fun. It is the most hot, bright, in your face pink. It is just hot ass pink. And I love that journey for us. I always get the all option. Oh, it's just stunning. We do have some foil in here. We've got a couple of this like 
dark, dark, dark green. It almost looks black until you get it in the light. Obsessed. It's very Slytherin green, which I'm not a Slytherin, but like, could be. It's pretty close. I'm like, if you do like the Pottermore quiz with all questions quiz, I you, it shows you like which percentage, and it, like the percentage doesn't equal 100, because like some questions are like black or white, left or right, you know what I mean? So I'm like 80... 4% Gryffindor and 79% Slytherin and then I think like 30% Ravenclaw and like 10% Hufflepuff but there's that we have these stripe underlays oh, look at that hollow though that gold silver rose hollow and sparkly hollow and then I picked up two kits I picked up the Pixie Grove which I think I'm going to use this in St. Patrick's Day week because I don't really give a shit about St. Patrick's Day. In March, I tend to do kits that are all Chris themed. Does this look like Chris themed? No, but he's like really into fantasy things and I feel like this gives me very D&D &D energy. Especially Andrea's like D&D &D characters a fairy, so there's that. So we got page one and then the greens obviously lean into St. Patrick's Day. I think these colors are so fun, so unique. I love this box. That's just Prash. I did not opt to add in the colorful things for that add-on. Just I'm keeping it green because I'm using it for St. Patrick's. The little deer is so cute. This was the kit add-on. I will not be using her because I did get the blondie girls. I'll probably use her. I enjoy her a lot. And then, guys, this is a kit that I have been hoping and praying that a shop would come out with for years now. And here we are. It is called Dark Arts. If you don't particularly know, I have a half sleeve that I've started so far. It will eventually be a full sleeve. And it's literally the dark side of Harry Potter. I so far have the Riddle Family Grave, uh, Azkaban Prison like sign like Sirius says sign that he holds up with his prison number the horcrux locket a death eater mask it's a whole thing so dark arts and i do have dark arts underlays quotes and overlays in the shop currently the overlays and the quotes are actually on sale right now so pick them up but we have got azkaban prison oh i also do have like a snow a tattoo of a snow globe with azkaban prison inside of it so cool we've got tom riddle's locket we have um lucius's walking stick which i actually have that irl we've got voldemort with the elder wand we've got bellatrix we've got the death eater mask and like the unforgivable curses hogwarts with all the dementors flying oh love the deco got the malfoy manor i love the lightning pattern that's so fun this is literally what my tattoo looks like. It's just good shit. And then we have the extras, which is the dark mark. I'm really glad that was cut off before you could see the wrist because wrists freak me out. Then we've got the tall box of the Dementor, we got Festral, and we got Creature. And that is everything, guys. That is everything for this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you did not, then, well, give it a thumbs down. Because either way, you're helping out my channel. Comment down below. Subscribe if you have not already. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.